Hi and welcome to the fourth devlog for Sandfire. Today I will present you how I implemented the magic in Golu and some other UI improvements. Because it's been a long time since the last devlog, as a quick reminder, Sandfire is a single player adventure game with souls like elements and takes the player on a journey through a profound abyss um, to find the source of a magic sickness that currently plagues the rest of the world. So I plan to add magic to Sandfire for quite a while now like in my very first Godot project where I created this scene and made my very first magic spells in order to get in touch with the engine. Actually I plan to add magic at some later part of development but I decided to participate in the healing and electricity challenge from the Godot effects and shader discord where you can find a nice community with many talented people for learning visual effects and shaders. For Sandfire in particular, I wanted to handle the combat like this. In the right hand, the character can equip different kind of weapons, like the Greatsword, what I covered in my last devlog. In the left hand, the character should be able to equip various spells and should be able to cast them in the 3D environment. So I brainstormed different magic spells and looked at a lot of references and VFX reels. And I decided to start with a low number of individual spells. Therefore, you have currently 9 different spells which are available to equip. Um, these spells are namely the Fire, Frost, Earth, Lightning, Blood and Healing, and Light and Darkness. And lastly, the Fire spell, which I wasn't able to finish in time, so you can only see this preview. So, I firstly started to create a basic inventory in which you can view collected spells and equip them for, for combat later. Therefore, I created a basic inventory layout, sprites for the different spells in the form of a scroll, and I added a JSON file for storing various information for each spell. Since I was looking for a lot of references, I discovered a mobile game named Madobu, which presents magic very nicely. You have a character holding different magic spells above the palm of his hand, and depending on the spell's level, it has a different appearance. Due to this, I decided to create a 2D version of the protagonist, and different 2D particles representing the different spells. Because I plan to use very less to non-language, this certain way to preview magic was very convenient and a great way to visualize the different spells and the elements of the spell. Each spell is made out of 2 to 3 2D particles with a custom shader material to create a more stylized look. The material of, for instance, the lightning particle is based on a mask texture and on top I scroll a secondary texture with a specific pattern and cut the black part out. The secondary texture is from GD Quest Shader Secrets, which I will cover later in this devlog. The base code for the inventory system was built up upon the tutorials by Archive, which I will link in the description. And in the end, the player can drag different spells in the equip slot to preview them or swap selected spells. If you are interested in seeing how the inventory and the individual particles work in more detail, I will put a link in the description where, can take, where you can take a look at the project file. After I integrated the new created magic inventory into the main project, I made some more changes and optimized it for the gamepad. Due to this, it is now possible to properly pick up items when a weapon is equipped and to get a preview of the selected spell in the overlay scene. The next step was to integrate the picked up spells in its 2D version and make it possible to use it in the 3D environment. I took a look at, for example, the GG Quest open source fire shader but the spell did not look exactly like I wanted them to, so I decided to create my own custom shader based on my 2D particle shaders. But I still learned a lot from it and therefore I highly recommend to take a look at the GD Quest um, fire shader yourself. For the 3D version of the lightning spell, I also scroll one pattern texture of a mask texture, add some glow effect and enable the billboard mode to make the 3D plane look to the camera. For the main VFX effect, I watched many VFX reels and footage from other games, like I did for my animations in the last devlog, and I tried to copy and recreate certain elements for my own effects. Since I wanted the character to do something when activating a spell, I created an individual casting animation in Blender with a VFX effect. During this process, I tried to keep focus on the left arm, since there will the magic be instanced, 
and I also try to make them looking not over the top like in other games. For the light, fire and healing spell I make use of magic circles with the soul shader and rotating UVs. For the light spell I use for instance two cylinders with different shaders to create a laser beam effect and an extra particle effect representing the dissolve process. For the fire I instance an additional fire particle as a kinematic body and calculate the vector between the enemy and the player to get the correct movement. And for the healing I use a cone shaped cylinder and scroll three different textures in a shader material which I combine with some particle effects to receive this aura effect. For the earth spell I do very much the same as in the healing spell but I added an overlay texture rect with a noise for a more convincing looking sandstorm effect. The animation for this certain spell was referenced by one of the uh, Mixamos animations. The blood effect is still work in progress and currently has only two particles spawning at the enemy's position. I'm not very satisfied with the result and if you know some good references for the blood magic please let me know in the comments, it would help me a lot. For the frost spell, I instance ice crystals with a funnel, refraction and emission effect and some particles to achieve a cold looking area. The dark magic has two different instances, the energy ball made out of particles and a following particle effect with particles moving upwards. For the last spell, I made a poll on which one should get a more detailed breakdown and I plan to make more polls like this in the future so you can follow me on Twitter if you want to participate in them as well. So for the anticipation of the lightning spell, I made a particle system that sucks the particles to the center by setting the radial acceleration negative. For the main impact, I used two different particles with a spark and a stone texture by setting the initial velocity to a fitting value and the spread to 90 degrees. The flash itself is a snow particle but playing with a shader material. To create the jittering, I decided to distort the vertices instead of the UVs by using this line of code. The lightning shape is a scroll texture which I multiply with a mass texture to create a smooth end at the top and for the dissolve effect I use a simple noise to make the material transparent depending on the dissolve value. I also add more variables to gain control over the material like the strength, speed and emission effect. The sword has a similar shader to the lightning shader but I made the dissolve effect dependent on a gradient to make the sword disappear from the top to the bottom. And the crack works the exact same way but with different textures. And with enough control over the different parameters, I animate the effect in the animation player. I set when the particles and shader appear, the position of the sword and different color values. The shockwave for instance is just a plane with a ring texture that is scaled in the animation player. And at the end, I added two additional particles and an omni light as a bonus to achieve an even more looking convincing effect. I'm really happy how most of my spells turned out and it took me a lot of time and effort to create these spells in general and I'm just happy to see them finally in my game. And as a little disclaimer, um, I didn't make all textures myself this time, but most of them. With the now created spells, it's important to prevent the player from limitlessly casting spells. So I added a magic bar and a stamina bar to show the current mana of the character and also the consumption when casting a spell. Moreover, I also added a health bar that indicates the current health of the character as well. The stamina decreases with certain actions like rolling, running and attacking. And as soon as the stamina is depleted, it is not possible anymore to do these actions. The regeneration of the stamina bar starts slowly and increases faster over the time. And compared to the magic bar, I let it increase only slowly over time. For most people, adding a health bar is probably easy, but it was my first time to create a health bar in Godot and I'm really happy how it turned out. However, the design of the UI is still a prototype and a subject of change. In the player character script, I created the cast magic function that is called when the player presses the attack button. If that happens, I get the spell name from the inventory and play the current casting animation. Nice thing about this is auto, each spell has an individual animation that is also depending on the current equipped weapon, like the greatsword. It looks perfectly fine and I also do the same for the camera shake and the mana consumption on the magic bar by getting the corresponding values from the JSON file. Thanks to this, I was able to shorten my at the beginning very large switch statements to a minimum. 
although I tried my best to prevent using switch statements in general, I wasn't able to instance the individual effects without it. And due to this, I have two lines of code for spawning the magic effect in the character's hand. But hopefully I will find a way in the future to improve this and get rid of the switch statement entirely. And with the new upcoming decal node in Godot 4, I'm sure I can improve the spells as well. And this is basically everything that happened the last weeks. For the next weeks I will do some more polish and I will work on new 3D models to improve the graphics a bit and make the environment filled with more interesting stuff. And I also plan to release a demo for the highly improved character controller within the next month so you can test it out. Thank you very much for watching and all the feedback that I receive and take care and goodbye.